Okay. <clears throat> Inductive reasoning is the reasoning that uses a pattern to arrive at a conjecture which is a conclusion. That's what a conjecture is. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at each one of these patterns and see what makes them tick and we're going to arrive at a conclusion. So in reality what we have here for this one is plus 5, plus 5, plus 5, plus 5. So my conjecture would be is to add 5 every time. What are the next two terms? Well, all I have to do is just to keep adding 5, so it would be 25 and 30. So my next one, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, it's a little bit harder to see. Really, this is a, a really um, unique pattern called the Fibonacci. Uh, I might not even spell it correctly. Let me just look it up real fast. Those Italian names. Fibonacci sequence. And the way it works is, is you add the previous two to get the next one. So 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, so on and so forth. So you add previous two terms to get the next. And so it's actually a famous sequence and it occurs in nature so that's why it's pretty interesting. What will the next two terms be? Well 3 plus 5 is 8 and then 8 plus 5 is 13. Alright, so now we got JFMAM. So this is kind of a verbal pattern, and there's always something it's based off of. In this case, it's the months of the year. What are the next two terms in the sequence? Well, uh, January, February, March, April, May, June, and July. Okay. And then one, two, so my next verbal pattern is O T T F F S S E. And this one's actually kind of hard. Although somehow most of my students found it, I'm pretty certain they just looked it up and Googled it. But it's supposed to be the first letters of each number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the next two letters will be N and T for nine and 10. Okay, finally we got a pictorial pattern here. So three-sided, four-sided, five-sided. So sides go up by one. What is the next two terms in the sequence? Well, it's a hexagon. And then a, what we call a heptagon. It's kind of a bad representation, but you know, heptagons are really, really, really hard to um, actually draw. And that's it, it's a nice short one. So there you go.